Good evening. In case you didn't know, Snøre is primarily a mountain. Located at the center point of Norway, within the area of Dovre, And if you didn't know, the name has been misused for years. Accounting, sausages, cheese. And since 1987, also misused by architects. Since that day, we decided that what we do is about ourselves. Snöhetta is the most important project for Snöhetta at all times. Excuse me, possible clients. We based our office on creativity. Creativity defines who you are, what you are at all times. We said creativity is distinctive, which is more than contextual. It is as distinctive as the reindeer of Dovre Snöhel. The genes that you carry is part of that distinctive simplification which makes what you are recognizable. That means we have to focus on every individual in the office, singular in the plural. The way we actually react to every individual describes the collectiveness of our group. That's why our organizational diagram actually looks like this. The working methodology is transpositioning, meaning we change professions. The architects become the landscape architects, landscape architects, philosophers, philosophers, sociologists. Sociologists become writers, writers become architects. Now, once you do that, you leave your pre-assumptions behind and you understand exactly what to do and where to go without thinking about what went wrong the last time. To follow our projects through this, we have developed a series of generic drivers. These generic drivers keep changing as we move forward in time. They define our continuous state of reinvention. The first generic driver is zooming. When you zoom in or when you zoom out, you realize that the spaces that surround you have different scales, depending on the distance that you're related to that particular object within. You move closer. You get as close so you can see the details. You dive under the skin of the elements that you have, down to the elements that you touch, tangible wood, steel, materials. That also for landscapes and elements such as this one in Hong Kong or this one in Sweden, framing your surroundings by architecture, by space, zooming at certain points into the landscape, making it recognizable. What you see is the smallest museum in Sweden has one photograph. It's a ready-made piece of architecture. All the way zooming into the bees and the beehives. 160,000 bees live in these beehives. That is zooming, buzzing in. <coughs> Generative resistance. What type of resistance is important? Environmental sustainability. It works against creativity. But if you use it the right way, all of a sudden, you have something to work with. Including food production. 2050, UNESCO says, we will be producing too little food for this world. Means there should be agriculture on top of every large-scale building. This one in Paris. You see a French farm located down to the right. You have to squat areas that belong to the people. Here in Guatemala City. The sidewalks of Guatemala City are for selling goods. We are doing benches, bottom-up, together with the artists, and actually creating a squatting event by pushing 300 benches. It is the delay and the generic aspects of time that are consistent. You fight time all the time, and that's why it's slow. That's why we have Olaf Eliasson doing slow art. That's why we rely in the end, on summer, autumn, night, and day. That's why light is important in the exchange of the elements that we're dealing with. Now, liberating laughter. There is nothing that is too serious to be laughed about. That gives you the aspect 
of believing in what you are doing. It's not funny having to breathe inside the bubble of an electrical car, but it's a good laugh. Be curious. The curiosity within us can flourish if you look for things in a way that you haven't done before. Here, for the Ground Zero project, we were looking for the exchange of positions between a point of reality with a point of fiction. With Pay White's stage curtain for the Opera House, it's the three-dimensional aspect being produced two-dimensional by a weaving uh, element. It is looking at the two balloon in Kongsberg and trying to promote initial elements of architecture. Rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping means choosing materials and then going from digital to analog procedures, which we do in our office, and then translate from something that you're actually producing to something real, actually giving that real-time experience in a large CNC machine. That results in a building, which is, again, of course, the Reindeer Pavilion at Dover, and you see Snöhetta in the background. Or creating a house for the artist Björn Melgo. This is his vision of the house that he wants to build. This is our interpretation of the house, and since it's the house to die in, we burn it. That is prototyping. Or for the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, prototyping goes from digital to analog to digital to analog. Get physical. What does Laurie Anderson say? Walking is preventing yourself from falling forward. Then you know about gravity. You cannot rely on anything in creativeness unless you rely on your whole body. Head, stomach, mind, hands, feet. That's creativity. It's none of, not one element single, it's a series of them. Like, for instance, creating three-dimensional uh, um, Arabic calligraphy, which is three-dimensional, which then becomes an ornament, knowledge-based intuition. What does Italo Calvino say in the book Invisible Cities in the discussion between Kublai Khan and Marco Polo? Yes, he says, the Roman arch is the keystone the, the keystone of the Roman arch is the culture of our society. If you remove it, it collapses. This is what we designed for Saudi Arabia. You remove the keystone and the building collapses. We clad it with steel pipes, which is produced as a line. This line is again a digital process. Then the rammed earth, then the building, and then moving stones from Norway to Berlin for the Norwegian Embassy. 140 tons, biggest stone from Norway to Berlin ever. You have to know that this stone doesn't break. And then back to the reindeer, which are the same reindeer found in the caves of Lascaux, 17,000 years old. You then, of course, all you have to do is to lift the landscape, look under it, and see what you find. Be generous. The most important thing is to give more than you take. That counts for architecture as anything else in life. By giving back to the public of Alexandria, they in fact protected this building during the revolutionary spring two years ago by forming a circle around the building and actually physically protecting it. Same as with the Opera House in Oslo. You give something and you take something, but you always give more. You give it to the public, it is called public ownership. It's part of our social structure as with Times Square. Give it back to the people, remove the cars. Or a plaza in Saudi Arabia, which is an excuse for creating another public space where you can actually meet. Or it is a mountain cabin in Norway, which is always open for people who search refugee. 
Trusting presence is meaning trusting where you are right now. It's an important driver. Martial art is using the forces from your enemies coming against you, against them. Of course, Ground Zero is such a project. Negotiated from beginning until end. The smallest project that we've ever done in a large setting. Eat, love, and pray. Use as much time as you can to find a good occasion to party. But don't party without a reason. Party at a point in time where you're ready to take it in so you can plan it. And finally, punk production. Break the law. If you want to be creative, you have to break the law. It's not me. Find your own drivers, <laughs> generic ones, stay tuned. Thank you very much.